All right, today I'm going to talk about satellite LNB skew and why it's such an important piece in locking in your satellite dish signal. All right, so to illustrate skew, imagine your satellite arc is like a semicircle in the sky and the highest point of the arc is gonna be here. So you're gonna have a skew that's pretty much zeroed because that's the satellite that represents the highest point in the arc. But as you go further to the west or east, the satellites are going to have more and more skew because they're moving down that arc. So you have to kind of imagine a tiny little antenna inside your LNB that it gets tilted to match the angle of that satellite on the arc. So satellites further west have a much more severe skew and satellites further east also have a more severe skew satellites that are in the middle of the arc have a much milder skew either east or the west watch the signal level change as i rotate this lnb to show you how not having the skew adjusted properly can really throw your signal off inside the lnb whether you're using a c-band or a ku band dish the modern lnbs have two tiny antennas inside that are 90 degrees opposed to one another and one covers the horizontal transponders on a satellite and the other covers the vertical. So turning the LNB helps to line up those little tiny antennas inside at the same tilt angle as the horizontal and vertical satellite beams you're trying to receive. Notice how when I rotate this LNB too much, either east or west, the skew is not matching the beam of the satellite in this case galaxy 19 and you can see how the signal quality really drops most lnbs have some kind of a scale on them to help you set the skew but most of those scales aren't very detailed this one here has the zero mark in the center and then a 20 on either side with four little interval marks in between so 5 10 15 20 degrees either way in my case, Galaxy 19 needs a 6.8 degree positive skew. So I'm gonna turn this LNB counterclockwise just a little bit past the five degree mark and that should be close enough for a 6.8 degree skew. But you should always double check on your signal meter and make sure that you're getting that signal quality as high as possible. That's known as peaking the signal. The best thing to do to find out your dish parameters is to use a site like dishpointer.com. All you have to do is enter your location and then select the satellite you want to receive and it will give you all the information to line up your dish, the azimuth, the elevation, and the skew. And just remember that if the skew is positive, you're going to rotate it counterclockwise, negative is clockwise. Now, obviously there's more than just adjusting the LNB skew and aiming your satellite dish. You also have to get the azimuth and the elevation of the dish set correctly. But skew is a parameter that's often overlooked, but it's critical in locking a satellite signal. 